The other day, I woke up and there was water coming out from underneath my Red Sea reefer. I'm going to tell you what happened and what I had to do. Hey guys, welcome back to Indoor Reef. A week ago, I woke up to something that we all hope never happens with our tank. Water on the floor, a leak. I'm going to talk you through what happened and at the end give you my view on the whole situation. I woke up and there was a small puddle on the floor near my controls cabinet and some dampness around the sump area. At first I mopped it up and assumed the fish had maybe been splashing, but when I came back shortly after it was quite clear that I was dealing with something much more serious. It had already started to um, flood the floor again. I followed the water back and eventually realised it was due to a small defect in the seam on the sump. Knowing my Red Sea reefer is just under two years old and still under warranty, I contacted Red Sea Tech Support and within a couple of hours they got back to me, very quickly offering me two options. £100 of Red Sea products if I could fix it myself, or a new sump free of charge. Not feeling confident any repair I could make would hold, and not using many Red Sea products anyway, I decided to go for the uh, sump replacement. Quickly, before we go any further, if you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. It'll mean that you get notified when I upload new videos so that you can follow along and don't miss out. Due to the time on a Friday, Red Sea said they couldn't check stock until Monday, but would likely have a sump available which could be shipped on Monday for Tuesday. In the meantime, I realised I needed to manage this best I could, so I placed towels to absorb leaking water to prevent damage to the floor and electrical equipment. It was difficult to get to the back of the cabinet, so I had to take out the little storage unit that I normally have in there and some pieces of equipment. I reconnected the doser to keep things as stable as possible. I used coral putty to seal the hole as a temporary fix until the new sump arrived. This actually worked better than I expected to slow the leak, but was clearly just a short-term solution. Something else I did was I actually turned off the ATO so that I could maintain the salinity better. Instead, I was manually adding salt or fresh water as necessary. I was worried the leak in salt water could cause the salinity to drop. It had already dropped a little bit from my usual 35 parts per thousand to around 34.6 parts per thousand. I was worried this could affect the stability of the tank. On Monday after the weekend, Red Sea confirmed the sump would be with me Tuesday, the next day. First thing Tuesday morning, sump turned up on a pallet and straight after work that evening I swapped it out. The changeover was a bit of a faff but overall wasn't too bad. I left the main tank filled but had to empty everything else out of the sump and drain it completely before switching in the new sump and adding all the equipment back in. So how do I feel about the whole sequence of events? Well, a bit mixed to be honest. I'm pretty frustrated that the sump leaked in the first place and could have done without the rigmarole of a midweek sump swap. The whole sump swap did lead to some relatively minor destabilisation in the tank, just due to having to reset up a lot of the equipment, but I'll talk more about that in a future video. On the other hand, I was really impressed with the level of service I got from Red Sea to replace the sumps quickly and free of charge under the warranty. I think if it hadn't been for this great service, I wouldn't have been sat here now uh, talking about relatively small inconveniences and minor disruption. I'd probably be raging about the costs of replacement and discussing much more damage to my house and my reef. I feel this really kind of sets the bar now for my expectations from other suppliers. Other than shipping over the weekend, I really don't think they could have done any better. Leave a comment to let me know if you've had any similar incidents like this and how you were supported by the supplier. Until next time on Indoor Reef, keep it stable, keep it fun and keep reefing.